Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today it's going to be a new patch, 3v3, uh, featuring myself and Somicron and a random against a team of three on Jungle Depths. An old map from the map pool that they pulled back into the current map pool. So, bottom left side, it's going to be me. Nope, this is Ice Cube, the red Zerg player. We got a dark blue Zerg player, me, and a light blue Zerg player, Samacron. You might recognize him from the Falcon Paladin Hour. I'll put a link in the description to it. It's a weekly podcast where we talk about StarCraft 2 and other nerdy stuff like Baldur's Gate 3 and other games we're playing. And movies and TV shows like Ahsoka and stuff. Top right is the enemy, a purple Terran named Granny, a yellow Terran named Alex, and an orange Zerg player named Lenjazb. We're going to call him Len, I suppose. This was streamed at twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. If you want to watch me stream StarCraft 2 on Fridays, go ahead over there and hit the follow button. No cost to do so. It's just like subscribing on YouTube. Just a little bit of different terminology, right? So, we do 3v3 ladder a lot. And was that an extractor trick? Was that on purpose? Lens adjusts to be... Oh, it is. 15 supply out of 14 available. All right, man. <sighs> Gas a little bit earlier than my, uh, than Somicrons, that's for sure. And a lot earlier than mine. 16, 18, 17 timing. I do not like this map because look how far away my natural is from my main. Look how far away Somicron's natural is from his main. Holy smokes. Whee! Ugh. And where's your third base, right? Over here, maybe? I guess, for Ice Cube. But where's your third base if you're Somicron? Or me? There are rocks here. There are rocks here. Maybe here? Maybe here? Ugh. This map. I think we vetoed it after this game, or maybe soon thereafter. Anyway. Let's see. Double factory opening here from Granny. He's going to do some mechan. Alex is building a command center inside this little main base that they all share. Very, very safe against three Zergs. That is certainly the case. And yeah, just speed coming up from one, two, three, all... Oh, not all three Zergs. What is Somicron doing? No speed? No speed. Plus one missile attack. All right, man. Ah, uh, Roachworn? Get out of here, Lens Overlord. You're getting stabbed. Oh, a couple... No, a Reaper came in. I think a Reaper hopped in there. Yeah, this guy. A little Reaper out of Granny just to make us think, oh, he's just playing regular stuff. He's just playing, you know, regular one racks expand, opening stuff here. He's probably not mecking. See, there's my third base. Look at how stupid it is. <laughs> Just, that's so far away. It hurts me. Uh-oh. Speedling's coming in from Len. They don't have speed yet. Of course, I don't have speed either. His speed is going to finish before mine. And no! Ice Cube! Send your links to help me! Ice Cube! Ice Cube's like move commanding. Ice Cube. Okay, he stopped to attack. Fine. Ugh, I got... Oh, I made a second queen here. That helps me stay alive against this Ling attack. I was making the second queen because you make a second queen with 16, 18, 17 builds. So that you can spread creep and get over to your third base, which again is super far away. Ah! Oh, I, ah, I had another queen. Look at this. Two queens. I'm, I'm making queens. Look at me make queens right now. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Oh, bit of a solo attack here attempted by Ice Cube. Doesn't go super well. Siege Tank has 12 kills. Hellion out from Granny. Third base of Somicron under attack. And uh, I send my Lings in to defend it. This is a 3v3, man. It's chaos. And when your bases are so spread apart, it's a massive benefit to have lings to be very fast to the defense, right? Fast to the defense of your teammate's third base. No third base from Ice Cube. Ice Cube's not like the greatest player I've ever seen. That's okay. You get matched up with randos in 3v3s if you have two players in a party and queue up for 3v3. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Oh man, more lings from Len. Usually a player that's making this many lings is going into Spire, but in getting an evolution chamber here, it's kind of the Falcon Paladin method of Zerg, isn't it? Make a ton of lings, get upgrades for them, and eventually get to ultras, but nothing in between. No roaches, no hydras, no lurkers. 
just Ultralisks, right? No Mutas either. Ah, see? And then these Lings come in. They're going after some of these workers, and my Lings are like, run! Can't save. Well, we can save one drone. And then he pulls out. Land very smart stuff, honestly. My Overlord scouts a weird place for a barracks, honestly, for Alex. Why is there a barracks here? I don't know, but I certainly scouted it. These Lings running, and I'm like, can I intercept these guys? And I look like I do, but then they just... They slip through anyway, like a running back. I mean, how many of you guys are American football fans? Probably, honestly, not that many. Not a lot of overlap between football sport fans and esports fans. I'm one of them. I'm a proud member. I've got season tickets to the local college football team. I love the local NBA team, the Utah Jazz. I mean, big NBA fan. And I love the esports, too. I don't know what to tell you. I'm a weirdo, I guess. Not many of us. I'm not alone. I'm not unique. But there are not many of us. And Blue Flame! Oh, God. Blue Flame! Roaches. I'm like, Somicron, send your roaches up. And then, oh, crap. There are siege tanks up here. That means your roaches are all dead. Okay. And I'm like, sorry. I ran away. And then I thought, and then I thought about going in. And then I was like, no, back it out. Back it out. Blue Flame Hellions with siege tanks. And I was like, I don't want to play against Mech. Mech sucks. And then I stopped my links here for no reason. About like six of them are burned up for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Spreading creep okay, considering how stupid this map is for creep. And just how big it is overall. Somicron's like, must knock down rocks, get a third or a fourth base. Actually, that would be... Uh, no, that would be his third base. Oh, man. Third base finally on the way from Ice Cube. My third base has had no workers at it. I mean, this is not going well for us. This is not a good map for three Zerg teams, which is, again, why we vetoed it in the first place. But yeah, check it out. Twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin. Good place. There's chat there. I can respond to your chats if you have questions for me. If you want to make fun of how I play StarCraft, that's fine too. I'm not very good. I mean, I don't know. I'm diamond. That's like average, I think, for StarCraft 2 players, right? Masters, I feel like, is better than average. And then Platinum is worse than average. And Diamond is average. I guess he's... Yeah, he's going to wall off this back way with a bunch of barracks. It's... I don't... Is this a wall? He's like trying to fill in some gaps here with supply depots. There's a widow mine out there from Granny. I don't know. Granny's got two bases. He is starting to produce widow mines. We saw that already, though. Okay, I got a million lings. Somicron's got a bunch of roaches. He's getting into a hydrolisk den and an infestation pit. Like that from him quite a bit. He does have his third base coming up at the gold base at 7:30, but man, that sucks how late it is. Again, it's terrible. It's really, really terrible. I'm just trying to get extra bases on this. Like, they don't even... I, there's not even a third base. Wait, nope. Third base is coming in from Len now, too. See? The enemy's having a hard time with this. Granny's got a single Viking flying around picking off Overlords, which is a good move. Every Terran player should totally do that. So, I have a million Zerglings that I'm afraid to run around because there's Widow Mines and Blue Flame Hellions out there. That's what it is. I just, making that many lings against a Mechang Terran is a total mistake, and I did it. And I'm like, well, I can't just sit here. Let's run around. Let's see what we can find. Spire's on the way from Len. See, that makes sense. Told you, Lurker Den, now getting fired up from Somicron. Ice Cube's working on Burrow, which is fun. And I was like, fine, you know what? I'm going to get a fourth base at 8.30. It's late, but it's in line with my other expansion timings. I'm not getting more late, I guess. These lings have magically all of plus one attack, but hey, good enough. You can get a full surround on those rocks, they go down. So look, I'm actually saturating my third base. I'm at 95 supply, which is right in line with everybody else. Ice Cube's at 106, Granny's at 106, Alex 102, Len kind of falling behind, but might be saving some of his cash for Mutalisks. And then a million lings went into my third base. And I'm like, I'm generally in the vicinity. He picks off both my queens and then gets out of there. That's all. Just completely gets out of there. He's been doing a good job not sticking around to die, which is something I do with my lings quite a bit as I stick around to die. Like, I get damage done, and then I'm like, why don't I just let you kill these units instead of pulling back and saving them for later? Ice Cube has a handful of roaches. He's expanding up here, too. I like that. His creep spread is kind of awesome. These blue from Hellions do not want to kill this tumor. Don't know what they're doing exactly. Maybe they're going to try to take down a hatchery. You're not great at killing buildings, guys. But okay. Ooh, Hellbats are, though. Cool. Does he have transformation servos? That was a quick transformation. Ah, uh, he does not. Okay. It's even faster. And bam. 
Base dead. Roach is too slow. Too slow to save it. But they will get revenge on the Hellbats. They're doing more damage against these Roaches than I expected them to. Good grief. Hellbats a little bit better. Okay, so now Banelings are out from Len. Do I have any Banelings? No. Should I have Banelings? Absolutely. Do I hate playing against Banelings when I'm a Zerg player? Yes. He's like, oh, okay, you're just going to give me this hatch? Fine. And I'm like, oh, I'm so scared. So many Banelings. And my third base dies. Great. But my fourth base is alive. Look at it. It's gold. The income is not horrendous here. Somicron finally expanding up that left side too. Roaches of Somicron show up to deal with these Banes. And then he burrows the Banes. And he's like, oh wait, I saw those Banes burrow. Okay, hang on. Do we have any Overseers? No, but there is a single Spore here. That's nice. And look who out. Burrow move from Ice Cube. Loving that. Oh, and this... Like, fourth base attempt with Granny gets totally shut down. So, I bring my Spore over. Don't actually burrow it. And then burrow it too far away for it to be of any use at all to detecting these Banelings. Good job by me. Uh, burrow Roach. Man, getting under this army and popping up inside it? Ooh, good scan. He knows. Like, ah, die. Don't engage. Don't do it. It's too smart. Oh, a bunch of Thors are out from Granny, too. There's that mech. Let... Lens expanding all down this right side. This is looking tough. But guess who's getting ultras? Ice Cube is. Oh. And I'm also making an ultralist cavern at 11 minutes. Yeah. Uh, all the roaches of Somicron died. Do those lings have adrenal? Yep. Those are adrenal lings. What was that? Did he send some Banelings in to explode on a couple roaches? That was not a good... Oh. Baneling speed is done. And then he goes... Oh, they all explode on those roaches and kill none of them. Okay, so I'm like, I'll engage now, but guess what? Bailings are here. Run! Lurkers! There you go. Somicron being awesome with the lurkers burrows in. And Len is like, ah, gotta get out. Oh, but Alex marching down the left side with Marines and Siege Tanks. He's got Stim. No medevacs. Somehow. Does he not really have... He does have Stim. He doesn't have any medevacs at all. He's building one. Hmm... Len coming up to assist. Granny coming up to assist. Good teamwork on display. Somicron's like, well, I don't want to fight that. So let's go this way. Burrows in to try to kill this one Ling. Can't do it. <laughs> Lurkers are funny sometimes. Ice Cube going to lose his fourth base. An Ultralisk pops out in the gosh darn nick of time, and that will murder all of these Lings because they're so bad against Ultras. But look at him. Stimming every stim, though. is not being healed up. On the other side, I'm like, well, I'll send a bajillion lings up. And see, notice how this isn't a wall? That's terrible. That is so bad. Ling, he lifts the orbital. The, oh, gosh. Ultras and roaches. Ultra, swipe, 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 swipe. Dead. Medivac's actually healing magically now. Uh, is this all of Alex's production? Because that'd be bad. He's got one barracks up here. But yeah, this is basically, this is why you don't use... All of your production is some kind of a wall far away from your home. Lurkers crushing Alex over here. Uh, Hellbats trying to go to town on this base. This Ultralisk, though, should be able to handle it. But also, the pathing is bad. And then the Thor show up, and they can deal with him, no problem. Mylings just kind of break down this wall. Uh, for some reason, they're kind of getting hung up on supply depots. There we go. Running up into Lens base, causing all sorts of problems. My Lings have Adrenal yet. Yeah, Adrenal and 3-3. Free -free. So, no, wait, hang on. Adrenal and 2-1. Wait, no, that's Len. Yeah, I am Adrenal and 3-3. Three, three. Excellent. So a bunch of Hellbats kind of clear my Lings up there, but not as good against these Lurkers without a doubt. I send some Lings up. I'm going to try to snipe down that Spire. The other team is crushing down this left side, causing all sorts of problems. Ice Cube is going to get knocked down to one base. Never a good feeling. Never, never a good feeling. My Ultras are alive. They're ready to go. They have the 3 3 anabolic synthesis and chitinous plating upgrades. And I'm like, okay, pulling back. Pulling back. I love this one Mutalisk. Let's go, Queen. Take him down. You have plus three armor. These Mutas don't have upgrades, do they? No. Zero, zero Mutalisks here. And it gives me buy some time to get some spores up. Excellent. But this is pretty good teamwork. 
out of Alex. Granny. Liberators here from... I gotta give Alex more credit. My natural base dies. Very sad. I find Granny's stuff over here. Wipe it out too. Everything is now dead inside the enemy's main base. All that's left is an extractor in here. But guess who's coming down this way? The mech army. Ooh, they split up. Uh, Liberator's pretty good against Ultras, but the Ultras kind of have to hold still for that. Here we go. And I'm like, I have to come back. I must try to save this base. So I, I gather my units. I don't send the Lings in one by one. And he pulls the Hellbats too far forward. The Lings get on top of the Thors. The Ultras get on top. He moves instead of defending himself. The Hellbats are not there in time. He tries to call down some mules to save his guys, but no. His entire army gets obliterated. He's down to 15 supply. Alex calls a GG. What happened to Alex? Back it up. In the meantime, other stuff was happening. What happened to Alex's entire army? Here it is. Uh, these guys. Oh, they thought they would be safe inside Liberator Circles against these Ultras. They were not. So Alex is knocked down to 34 supply. All of that is medevacs. Uh, four Liberators and some medevacs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Seven Mutalisks are the army from Len. Got Spores up defending there. Um, also, yeah, if you want to join the Falcon Paladin clan, you can do so on the Americas and the EU server. Join the Discord server. Ask for a clan manager. We'll get you that invite. You can be part of the Falpal clan as well. On Americas and the EU. Yeah, we find Len's little last holdout over here. I guess this base, but uh, no. Ice, Ice Cube shows that. Len taps. So technically, Alex is here. He doesn't really have anything of his own. He's got four Widow Mines. But yeah, it was a base race. They say never base race to Terran. And the enemy has air, and we didn't really. You know what they could have probably done more of is lift off their buildings. But I guess the larger problem is we, I mean, we could have teched up to Spire. Somicron's working on it anyway, right? And that's a GG. Everything dead over there. And uh, Falcon Paladin, Somicron, and Ice Cube are our winners in 16 minutes. So pretty fun little base race there for sure. Not too bad. The cheaper upgrades came into play here, I think for the Zergs especially, allowing my 3-3 to come up a little bit quicker, quicker than it normally would. Ultras are cheaper too, a little bit less gas. That makes it easier to get them out. I mean, just all across the board here, upgrades were kind of, uh, kind of cheapened up. So uh, plus two attack. Could have been plus three here from Granny, but that's all right, right? Len's got 2-2. Two, two. How about Alex? Alex really only won one with a plus one vehicle. So not the greatest team, but I mean, I don't know. We're not the greatest team either. I feel like that was pretty a pretty even match if I had to discuss what happened there. Where is Ice Cube? Ended up with a 1-1-1 one, one, one setup with Anabolic Synthesis, Adaptive Talons, Seismic Spines, uh, Hydra Range, Hydra Speed, Burrow, Tunneling Claws, Chitinous Plating, and Roach Speed. Yeah, he kind of spread what he was doing out a little bit too far, I feel like. He should have committed to one thing and stuck with it. That might have helped him a little bit there. But hey, he was on the winning team, so I think he was okay. 20,000 resources lost, both there for Granny and for Alex. Only 11,000 each for Falcon Paladin and Somicron. But workers killed, man, yeah. Summercon lost 60 drones. I lost 31. 60 were lost for Ice Cube as well, but 62 for Alex, Granny 53, and Len 75. So everybody pretty much losing all of their workers here. Uh, there's 11, 16, and 7 left over for the winning team. So not a lot going on economically, but that's okay. You know, if the enemy is dead, then, um, then it's all good. So... GG, that was fun. And guess what else? That's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft uh, 2 Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw and what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.